Ooh. Right. Um, a few of you, I'm going to sound like an Instagram influencer here. A few of you actually, have honestly, asked me about uh, these new Gunworks hybrid suppressors, um, which is similar design to the old ones, except there's a monolithic baffle in the front half that you can pull out um, to clean them. Um, now, the instructions I got from Gunworks, because um, I've just been testing it, because they released them today, um, the instructions that they've got is that you should clean them roughly every 50 rounds, but um, they actually gave me two. So one of them has been pulled apart every 50 rounds, and that comes apart easy, like a piece of cake. Um, you don't even need to use a vice. They recommend using a vice so you don't mangle this uh, nut at this end, which is attached to the baffle. So that is the muzzle side of it. Um, well, sorry, the, well, the actual end. That side goes has the thread that goes over the barrel um, and the bushing at the back. Um, but yeah, so we will follow the instructions and I've uh, put nearly 500 rounds through this. Um, just got back last night from a match down at Boundary Creek in Omaru. Um, so yeah, in the last six weeks or so, it's had just shy of 500 rounds through it and I haven't pulled this one apart at all. So we'll see how it goes as far as difficulty because um, that's what we were curious about. So um, just slot that end into the vise, which is not the bushing for the that goes over the barrel. Let's tighten that up nice and snug. Easy enough. So I'll just screw this off. And the, the stainless washer, um, they gave me a spare one. I put it somewhere. I'll find it. Um, but it looks pretty good, Nick. Um, just dirty, so it needs a clean, which is probably enough what they're for. So then this is the baffle, and it has a sleeve over it. So I'll try and get the sleeve off. Oh, that's on tight. There we go. And that will get tighter. The other ones that I pull them apart every 50 rounds, that comes off a hell of a lot easier. So, put that there. Take that out. So this is the baffle, as you can see, it is pretty gross in there, um, but like I said, it's had quite a few rounds through. This one's been on a 2D3, um, by the way. So they recommend cleaning it with hot soapy water. Um, so I've just made up a little bucket here, nothing fancy. Oh, now I've done here. Um, I just have a little scrubby brush. That I normally use for cleaning other crap, but I probably wanted to dedicate it to this. So just hot soap water and dish soap, nothing hectic. Um, yeah, no specialised cleaning equipment here. Um, it's making that water change colour though, that's bloody sure. So that has come up pretty good, just with a very light scrub. Um, so I'll leave that to dry. Um, stay with the floor here, see if that is a crack. Easy. Still a bit tarred up, but that's all just carbon deposits, really. And maybe a little bit of sandblasting, because this is the first thing that the gas hits, so. I mean, could give it more scrub, but you know. Um, so I'll leave them out to dry, not a big deal. Um, I was told not to soak the rest of the suppressor. Um, apparently you can do it with compressed air. It actually looks pretty good in there, to be honest. Um, but just because, I'll give it a little spray with some brake cleaner, um, just to see how it goes. came out of there anyway. It's pretty clean in there to be honest. Um, so I will basically leave all of this stuff to dry. I got told not to put it back together wet um, for obvious reasons. Um, all I have done when I've pulled the other one apart and put it back together again is just use some grease. This is some stuff I've been using on shotgun chokes um, just so I don't mangle the thread. 
um, and just like a little dab on the threads at the end of the baffle and put it back together again and that's all I've done on the other one so all I'm going to do on this after it's dried out so yeah pretty simple works very well nice and quiet um, as with all the gun work suppressors they are built very very strongly um, and yeah I know there's a couple other suppressors uh, that are supposed to be cleanable that you can buy over here pull apart ones that are pretty much impossible to pull apart after you've put more than 20 rounds through them um, but yeah uh, this one that's dead yeah nearly 500 rounds through it piece of cake um, the that was a little tight and that's about it um, but yeah easy cheers